Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Raises a oh oh yes I see hey hey welcome back to Discovery Ranch I'm Mr. Dawson and I'm here to take you on Discovery so you can learn how to read and write join me here each day so we can learn how to read and write together that's right and today is reading day I'm so exciting and writing day oh my goodness now remember if you will write to me right here at the station at Valley PBS or email me, remember, I will send you an activity book. I have sent so many things, so many activity books out. You think I would have been all out of books, but no, I have lots more. So write so you can get one today. This is reading day. And as we start it, we should look at our essential question. Here it is right here. What do good citizens do? Do you know what a citizen is? A citizen is a person who lives in their country, like we live in the United States of America. So we're citizens of the United States, but we're also citizens of the world. That's right, because we all live on this world. And what are some things that we can do to be a good citizen? We can care. We can care. We're going to talk about something uh, on that subject tomorrow. But today, I want to talk about the book we're going to do today. Here's the book. It's called Hen Hears Gossip. Oh, yes, gossip. Not a very good thing. You're going to see that in this story. Now, here's the front cover. Remember that? And here's the back cover. And here's the spine. This story was written by Megan McDonald. Yes, and the pictures are by Jung Un Kim. It's exciting. This is going to be, I hope you enjoy this book as much as I did. Now, listen, this is a narrative text. Remember, we have narrative text and we have informative text. And narrative text tells a story, and informational text gives us information. Both can be enjoyed. But this one is narrative. Now, when we read this book, Remember, the very first thing I'm going to ask you is, is it nonfiction? What does that mean? That means it's true, right. And what does fiction mean? It's not true, right. So when we do this, uh, read this book, after we read it, you come back, you have to tell me, is it nonfiction or fiction? And then see if you know why. And as always, when you come back, I'm going to have questions to see if you really we're listening to the book because that's what teachers do. Teachers love to read a book and then they like to ask questions and see if you really understand what the book is talking about, right? It's going to be so exciting. So remember, our story is Hen Hears Gossip. I hope you enjoy this story right now. Hen Hears Gossip, written by Megan McDonald and pictures by Jung Hoon Kim. Hen hears gossip. Hen was scratching for bugs in the barnyard by the fence. Psst, psst, psst. Pig whispered something to cow. Gossip. Hen loved gossip. Hen put her ear up to the fence. Psst, psst, psst. Cow whispered something to pig. Hen could not wait to tell her friends. Hen ran to tell Duck. Duck, Duck, Sadie the dog has a thorn. What? said Duck. Duck ran to tell Goose. Goose, Goose, Daisy the cat grew a horn. What? said Goose. Goose ran to tell Turkey. Turkey, Turkey, the crazy bat raced a storm. What? said Turkey. 
turkey ran to tell Hen. Hen, Hen, you're lazy, fat, and ate all the corn. What? cried Hen. I did not eat all the corn. So Hen and Turkey went to look in the barn. The corn was not eaten. The corn was in the crib. Goose, goose, said Turkey. Why did you say Hen was lazy, fat, and ate all the corn? I didn't say that. I said the crazy bat raced a storm. Hen and Turkey and Goose looked up at the sky. The sun was shining, not a cloud in sight. Or a bat. Duck, duck, said Goose. Why did you say the crazy bat raced a storm? I didn't say that. I said Daisy the cat grew a horn. Hen and Turkey, Goose and Duck went to look for the cat. Daisy had two pointy ears and two green eyes, but no horn. Hen, hen, said Duck. Why did you say Daisy the cat grew a horn? I didn't say that. I said Sadie the dog had a thorn. Hen and Turkey, Goose and Duck went to look for Sadie. Sadie did not have an itch or a scratch. Sadie was not in the blackberry patch. Sadie was on the porch snoring. Hen ran to find Cow. Cow, Cow, said Hen. Why did you tell Pig that Sadie the dog had a thorn? I didn't say that. I said my baby calf was born. A new baby cow? Wow! Hen called to the others. A baby calf was born. A frady cat was born, asked Duck. A lazy rat was born, asked Goose. A lady yak was born, asked Turkey. No, 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 said Hen. Not a lady yak, not a lazy rat, not a frady cat. A baby calf was born. A baby calf, said the three. Yippee, let's go see. Hen and turkey and goose and duck went to see the new baby. Ah, oh, said goose. Oh, said turkey. Kitchy, kitchy, goo, said duck. Moo, said hen. Did you enjoy that story? I really enjoyed that story. Okay, here you go. Was that story nonfiction or was it fiction? Right, it was fiction. It was fiction. Why did you know it was fiction? That's right, animals cannot talk. Animals cannot talk. So we're gonna say that this one is fiction. Good job. Okay, now here we go. It's time to answer some questions. The first question is, what did Hen do after hearing the cow whisper to Pig? Let's take a look at that page. What did the Hen do? There it is. What did, what did Hen do? What did she do? That's right. She ran to tell Duck. She ran to tell Duck. That's right. Okay, now here's my next question. Throughout the story, what happens to the message as they go along? Right, it changes. It keeps changing to different things. Duck, duck, Sadie the dog has a thorn. And then it changes to goose, goose. Uh, Daisy the cat grew a horn. Oh, it keeps changing. Turkey, uh, turkey, the crazy bat raced a storm. Oh, oh my goodness. The, the message keeps changing. So, my last question is, why do you suppose, why do you suppose the author wrote this story? I think that they're trying to teach us that when we hear something, we need to make sure that we hear it right so we get the message right. That's right. Well, let's end up with our writing and if you look right over here, oh, I should go to the other side so I can write. Let me come over here. Listen, it says, 
What does goose tell turkey? What did goose tell turkey? Right. The goose told turkey, the crazy bat raced the storm. So can I do a bat? Oh, let me see. There's my bat. And he raced a storm. It raced. I, I, here's lightning. That's the best I can do. Okay. Okay. And then what did the turkey, what did the turkey uh, tell the hen? The turkey told the hen, you're, you're lazy, fat, and ate all the corn. So maybe I'll just draw corn. But that message got all mixed up, it did. That's right. The messages got mixed up because here is, it was the crazy bat raced a storm. And here it was, you're, you're lazy, fat, and ate all the corn. That message is all messed up. So, here is my sentence starter. Each animal heard. Each animal heard. Oh, I know. Each animal heard the wrong words. So, we need to put the wrong words. Okay, so let's think of the. That is a sight word. Can you spell the? Right. T, keep going, H, and E. Each animal heard the wrong. Can you help me with the beginning phoneme? Wrong. R r yes, W. R that's an R. R ah, ah is for O. Ng is for N G. Each animal heard the wrong words. W w Hey, that's the same, the same sound. W. And then it's O, R, word, d. Words. And that's an S at the end. Now, we have everything to make it except, uh, a sentence except for one thing. And that is a period. So it has an uppercase letter. It has a punctuation. It has the noun animal, and it has the verb, heard. So we have everything. We have all we need for a sentence. So what was our sentence? Each animal heard the wrong words. So when you hear something, you need to make sure that it's the right message because you don't want to get the message wrong, do you? No, of course not. All right, listen. Remember that we are studying about how we can be good citizens. In this case, we need to be a good citizen. We need to make sure we get the story right, the message right. Well, tomorrow we're going to hear another story and how we can be good citizens. I hope you join me here so that we can have another great day of reading and writing here at Discovery Ranch. I'm so excited about tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye. brand new day time to learn and games to play learning things is so much fun learning is good for everyone